Good morning, everybody. Um, got a beautiful day this morning. This is the day that God has made, and let us rejoice in it. So we're looking at, um, in Ephesians, the book of Ephesians this morning, um, chapter 2, verse 17 through 22. And it's something I'm kind of fond of. It talks about the cornerstone. And the cornerstone in our life should be Jesus Christ. And so that's what I uh, would like to re read about today. You have some other reference verses back at Matthew 2, 42 and Mark 12, 10 through 11. Mark chapter 12, 10 through 11. So let's go right with it. And it came, and it came to preach peace unto you, which were afar off, and to them that were nigh, came to preach that was Jesus. For through him we both have access to one Spirit into the Father, strangers and foreigners. In other words, different type people, strangers, local people, and foreign people. We have through the Spirit, but fellowship, but fellowship citizens with the saints of the household of God the family of God the family of God and are built upon the foundations of the apostles and the prophets Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone that's where we need to think about in whom all thy building and it says fitly. In other words, everything's going to be square and tight. It's going to come together if you got it built on the right cornerstone. Framed together, growing into a holy temple in the Lord. And the temple of the Lord is our body. That we, He comes and dwells in us. And we're the temple of the Lord. And the church is the temple of the Lord. <clears throat> in whom ye also are builders together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. We're, so we're all builders. We're supposed to be all be builders for the habitation, to, for God, the Holy Spirit to inhabit in, in our lives and to, us to show others about Jesus through, um, the, through the Scripture and through our day-to-day -day lives and through our actions, through our work. As we were talking about the other, do it, do it as unto God, uh, or to Jesus and God together, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, and so um, that's what I was thinking about last night. Is the builders, the cornerstone. I been to Israel one time, and uh, the cornerstone there was like eight foot wide and sixteen foot long and six foot deep, and that was one of the cornerstones of the temple. So if you don't get it straight, nothing else will be straight. So I just want to let you know that today. God bless you all. Let me say a prayer. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for all your many blessings. Thank you for a wonderful sunshine you provide for us to, to warm the earth and to grow stuff. We just uh, realize that a lot of people don't have any idea about how God has provided everything for us to be able to live. And they go their lives daily searching trying to fill out what needs to be filled in their life and what needs to be filled in their life is the holy spirit so be with us guide us dear god by your holy spirit today and thank you for all the people who's watching and being with us have a good day i'm fixing to get started